2020, come back, 2020. Oh, hello there, my gorgeous gang. How the devil are we? God, I'm glad to see you. Delighted you could join me for the older top 10 bots of 2020 thing. We're going to wrap it up, put it away, and never think about it again, yeah? I'll have a refund on that, thank you very much. So how do we do this again? God, last year feels like a long time ago. We're going to do a quick countdown of uh, 10 of my favourite bots that I got during the year. Not necessarily ones that came out, just ones that I acquired and that I enjoyed and that made an impact or whatever. Ones that I think are good for whatever reason. Join in. Join me. A uh, cheeky caveat before we kick off. No Megatrons, okay? There has been a few of them come in and I'd much rather spread the spotlight around a little bit, you know? I don't want this to just become the Megatron channel, although I would watch that. Real quick, I really feel like I should say thanks to everybody for sticking with me through the trials and tribulations and the delays and the disasters of 2020. It has been a lot, but you got my back and I'm delighted about that. So thank you to everybody who supports me. I couldn't do this with, well, I wouldn't do this without you. Why would I? I'm just pathetically humbled by how things are going. It's uh, pretty smooth right now. We'll see how we get on, but right now things are good. So thank you. Anyway, oh my God, mate, shall we talk about some robots? Kicking us off then in spectacular style is Studio Series Bumblebee Blitzwing. Oh, so yeah, a bit of a mega year on the old Studio Series. I've been relishing the Bumblebee figures. This one was great, Off-Road Bumblebee, some others that we'll talk about in a minute. But oh God, I don't know, man. The, the aesthetic still just gets me right here. It's everything. Such a perfect blend of like photorealism and retro stylings and what would it really look like if, you know. And Blitzwing is just the baddest mother lover of the lot, man. He's such a savage. And that's about the depth of it, really. I just think he's really good. I'd love to do a full review on him. I, I, I always want to do a full review on everything, but just in case we don't get around to him, he's really good and I love him. Transformers Armada Red Alert. God, what a chunky monster of a man this thing is. So this guy pretty much represents TF Nation for this year. I got him at, um, well, I didn't get him at. Nobody got anything at. There wasn't an at this year. But I ordered him from Toy Fu during their big push at TF Nation. I was so sick. It was awful. I got food poisoning right before TF Nation. I was laid out the whole time. But I was just so delighted to still be able to be part of it. I did the old Sentinel Prime review and uh, the TF Nation gang they got literal Townsend Coleman to come in and roast me. <laughs> and they animated the whole thing. It's so good. What a trip to be part of that. To get friggin' torn to bits by actual Sentinel Prime. What an experience. What a mixture of experiences. Watching a live stream of one of the coolest things that ever happened to me while sick to my guts. You gotta even it out somehow, right? But friggin' Armada Red Alert is a pure, chunky delight of a boy. Just so shamelessly an exploded car glued onto a friggin' Masters of the Universe action figure. Just friggin' gimmicks and chunk and friggin' light piping for days. Oh, he's great. He's everything. Where did that go? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Armada is still one of those things I'm just barely scratching the surface and Red Alert is truly just a feast. So big up once again to Toy Fu. Love what you do. God, I hope we get to do TF Nation this year. <laughs> Please. I miss you. I miss you. Ugh, mosh pits and uppercuts and bazookas. Urgh, that's my energy. Ah! Oh, Masterpiece Soundwave! We got one, lads. We got hold of one. He's so difficult to source. He's never available. eBay's just full of knockoff ones. But I put some feelers out and somebody on Instagram got back to me with Masterpiece Soundwave, all the cassettes, Rat Bat, friggin' Buzzsaw, Laserbeak, Ravage, all the gang. He's so good, man. Fair to say this is very much a product of its time. The engineering is very odd. Like, his hips are under his hips, but it works and it pulls it off with grace and subtlety and it's just a wonderful representation of of, let's be real, one of the coolest robot designs ever in anything. And you know, real talk, I don't like to be the guy sitting there going, oh, this is difficult, because I'm so lucky to be able to do what I do. This is great, are you kidding me? But it really sucks when buying toys becomes a professional obligation, you know? The burnout, man. Good God, the burnout. This is like my main hobby and it's work now. I'm not mad. It's just a weird one. And while this guy was something I bought for a video, it's so beautiful and it's just what I needed to remind me that I do like this. <laughs> you know? Masterpiece Soundwave blasted away the burnout. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded why you like the thing you like. 
Studio Series Jet Version Shatter. Friggin' all these Bumblebee figures, they're just hitting, man. Not all of them, though. That friggin' car mode Shatter was rubbish. So this last came as a real treat, because, God, we love Shatter, don't we? Blitzwing, love that guy, but, mm, one and done. But Shatter was such a presence, and this is the perfect version of her. And I know I've already talked about this, but one of my favorite moments with um, Shatter and Dropkick is when they acquire their uh, flight modes, they change. Because we were so used to the robot modes just being like, whatever, just big tangly mess. So that moment when they got their flight modes and then transformed and sprouted more kibble. God, it's what I need, man. Just the attention to detail and the groundedness and the care. And this is that as a toy. Yes, it's kibbly. Yes, I want that. Jet mode shatter got me where it mattered. <laughs> that was a nerdy entry, wasn't it? Hey. Earthrise Scorponuck. <laughs> My gigantic crab son. Bit dutty, mate. Clean yourself up. You're on telly. I don't know. If you've been watching the channel, you've probably noticed this lad has not left my desk. Partly due to not having any room for him elsewhere. <laughs> but he's been great company. I love his vibe. I don't know. It's like the first Titan class figure I've really enjoyed. Because I didn't do Trypticon, but we do Fort Max, we do Metroplex. They're great and everything. But the alt modes are oh, so boring. I'm sure I said this before, but I don't care for a city mode. But Scorponok is a, a giant robot insect monster the size of a child. He's a Decepticon, his colors are great. We love a secondary color. This lad, pop it. Great work, yes. Spectacular job mate, yes, wonderful. God, his hands are the size of hands. All right, that's half of them. Should we take a quick musical breather and reconvene for the top five? Well, that's what we're doing. Slaves, never forgetting the story of Jesus, the hero was killed by the state. Just got your Studio Series Scrapper. Once again, with the movie bots, I know, but they're just good. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Uh, I must say thank you to uh, you and a kid hog again for uh, chucking this my way. You did not have to do that. But Scrapper is just such a great fun figure. Just got that daft Constructicon energy. Big old scoopy feet and like no normal hands. Silly little walnut head. Still undecided as to whether I'm going to do all of them. I don't like the look of Devastator really. I've got three of them. I'm happy with all of them individually. Scrap metal. Long haul and this lad, they will do. Alt mode's great, just a really fun construction themed baddie robot. You don't have to have eight of those to have a good time, okay? He is Scrapper and everybody else is Crapper. At number four, the rowdy goth with the smoker's cough, Generation Selects Exhaust. Generations Selexhaust. God, he's so gleamy. I can't believe this lad. Is he in focus? He's blowing my camera out. Jesus. Earthrise, in general, has been very good. I've been having a lovely time with it. But a lot of them are just, like, really ordinary car men. Like, Trailbreaker, brilliant. Sunstreaker, quite good. Run amok, Wheeljack, they're all good but I cannot think of anything interesting to say about them. So yeah, I couldn't get there with any reviews for them because it was just like, he is good, I like him. And that's, that's not enough. That's not what you come to me for, is it? But exhaust is just so cool. Like, like the wheeljack mold is like really good. And there we go. It is good and I like it. Sometimes things are just cool. What do you want? But the color scheme is so cool. The head is cool. The tampos are cool. I think there's an incorrect one, isn't there? Yeah. Exhaust. Love it. It's either an extremely nerdy in-joke about the misspelled Marlboro on the original toy, because I couldn't get the trademark, they had to spell it wrong, so they spelled this wrong, which is funny. Or it's just a mistake, also funny. Is that it? Yeah. It's good, in it? Number three is a real special one that I've always, always, always wanted, and I just got him this year. 
It's friggin' G1 beach coma. <laughs> Nothing fancy, just a little man who is a buggy, and God, he is perfect. Big soft spot for the minibots, and this is one I've always missed. I think I have all of them now, apart from uh, uh, my Outback's a bit knackered, but he's still there, and Beachcomber is truly a beautiful lad. Transformation is so perfect and fun. It just makes me smirk like a goon. Uh, that, that's uh, that is as much as there is to it. He is a smile that you can hold in your hand. He is just lovely. Number three, it's Mr. B. Number two, Transformers Universe, Aveo Swerve. Who is he? I don't know, I did bring this up in a Dammit Open before, but this was a figure I just have always wanted directionlessly for no real reason. I just like him. I love an ordinary bot who doesn't look like anything special. He has no face, nothing remarkable about him, and he works for me so much. I love the idea of a Transformer that could be part of my world. Not a wheeljack, not a smoke screen, not a supercar, just a regular ass family sedan parked up in Sainsbury's and you don't know it's a robot, but it is. The thing about this lad is I don't think I can get a review out of it. There's really not much to work with. I suppose the only thing I could really talk about would be the circumstances of its release. Because it was like a giveaway for when you test drive a car. Probably just end up reading the TF Wiki article out loud, honestly. So there's the alt mode. It is a car. A boring little ordinary car. And I, I live for it. That's, that's, I don't know. I don't know why I like that. He's not interesting. I just like it. So I've got to say cheers to a good old P Org once again for hooking us up on this one. Thank you, mate. God, I appreciate this piece of shit. But before we do number one, I must give some degree of respect to a certain very large lad. This is the absolute glory that is Fans Hobby Lightning Eagle. Friggin' Masterpiece, Power Master, whatever, Thunderclash version. Oh, so good. And, um, I broke it. <laughs> I was working on a review for it, which I can't do now. I don't know if it was my fault. I feel like it probably was. I overstretched his legs a tiny bit. They went a notch too far and now they won't go back in. So he just can't do truck mode anymore. I'm, I'm gutted. But God, he's so beautiful. These friggin' colors, man. He is wonderful. I've been without Thunderclash in my life since I made the video a year and a bit ago. He was good, but he was crumbling. He had to go. I couldn't, I couldn't watch him slowly fade to dust. So I moved him on, gave him to somebody else to enjoy while he lasts. So it was not Nice to have Thunderclash back in my life again for a bit, until he broke my heart again. So thanks a bunch, me. <laughs> you f***ed it. Completely chunked it, I'm, I'm furious. Fans Hobby Lightning Eagle, he's wonderful, be careful. And the last one, number one for this year. Big things I've always wanted theme on the go right now, sorry. That's where I'm at, okay? The new stuff is great, we love it, but the Churn, man. The new stuff pre-order churn. It's bugging the shit out of me. So I just had to take a little break and buy myself a G1 Sunstreaker. Oh man. Again, I think I showed him off in a previous one, but this was a major hit with me this year. Because mm, he's so important. He's such a huge slab of friggin' Transformers Diaclone history, and he pops Good God, he pops, man. He's so good. <laughs> Just where I'm at right now, I'm feeling the value of the vintage figures. There's something about them. There's something about this era. Just the metal, the stodgy design. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Because I sort of wrote off the G1 Autobot cars as being a bit obvious. You know, who wants to hear me talk about Jazz and Wheeljack and all these ones that everybody knows about? Everyone's already got one, right? So I never really went in in a big way. I had like Smokescreen and Prowl and Ironhide. Sideswipe, I broke him as a kid. I just, they, they became sort of throwaway in my mind. So to experience a figure as classical as this for the first time, God, it's a treat. God, it's a treat. There's a few left that I haven't got. I'm gonna pace them out because the thrill, man, the, the severe satisfaction. One bot like this a year, and I think we'll be all right, you know? The things I'm saying about this thing do not align with what it looks like. It looks like a bag of crap, but this is like straight off the back of the 70s. This was revolutionary. This was huge. You hate to say it, you hate to be the guy, but G1, there's nothing like it. And uh, that makes 10, I reckon. So thank you for joining me. Maybe we can actually kick off the new year now, yeah? Got a couple cooking up. Not totally sure which one to prioritize. Suppose I better talk about Netflix Earthrise, haven't I? God. But I'm gonna do it. 
and it's, I would think it might be good. That's how I generally approach videos. But until such time as our paths meet again, I do appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I implore you to remain ravishing. <laughs> Okay, thank you for watching, and thank you to Lupatron for supporting me on the Patreon. Join today, get your name on here, maybe I'll give you a shout out. Five dollar patrons get early access to reviews, mother lovers. Not to mention exclusive image galleries, not nudes. See you there, maybe? Uh, probably not, right? So thank you, Lupatron, much appreciated. Be sure to subscribe for more Hughes Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.